Hey guys, I've been hearing a lot about the Smart and Prime MPBT Solar Charge Controller. So I thought about giving it a try. I got it from Loom Solar website. If you want to buy it, direct link has been provided in the description. So starting with the unboxing, now I'm going to save more power. So guys, this is all that we get here. Uh, one MPBT Charge Controller. So this is how it looks. Pretty cool, huh? And now I have an MPT controller. For so long, I have been using the old PWM type. Oh, what did happen here? Uh, seems like uh, this happened during shipping. I think I will have to cut it from here and then connect another plug. Let's see what else we get here. There are two fuses. Just in case anything happens to it. A warranty card with specifications and uh, the connection diagram as well so don't you throw it away it's really important this uh, what you get is something to eat okay i'm gonna eat it afterwards <laughs> don't you eat it i'm just kidding it's not supposed to be eaten throw it away so guys at the front as you can see is the display and few push buttons for setting the display and here is your service label for calling them now if we turn it like this then here you see battery positive and negative which will be connected over here and pv is photovoltaic means solar panel terminals negative and positive connected over here output and input from the mains and to the inverter now let's see the front of it so here as you can see it says 12 to 24 volts dc with 30 amperes capability mppt and we have the mains mcb here and that's the exhaust fan and this is the warranty seal i don't know what these two are for battery priority tubular grid priority now guys i know that the warranty is going to get void but still i'm really interested in showing you people what's inside this and how the circuit looks so i'm going to still open it and if it damages in the future then i'm going to repair it myself let's try and carefully remove this warranty label well now it's torn Okay, so it is going to be open from this side and then turned over like this or kept like this and now we have fully open MPPT circuit. Well, the circuit looks really nice as you can see there are two of them. So this is for boosting the current step down converter for boosting the amps of the solar panel. And uh, this one is for tripping the inverter on battery mode uh, when the battery gets fully charged. Now this is the close up for uh, the tripping circuit. Here as you can see that the relay says 30 amperes and uh, 240 volts AC 28 volts DC. Here a super thick 10 square mm wires have been used for carrying huge currents and that's your fuse uh, we got two extra just in case if it fuses and this is your transformer for driving this relay this one this one and this one that you see are your voltage regulators this is 7805 and this one is 7812 7812 and we have a pretty big inductor core with super thick wires for boosting the amps and finally here as you can see are your normal and power mosfets which have been mounted on a single large heat sink so many have been used i can see uh three four five and two really big power mosfets three three six seven eight eight in total and a uh, one big heat sink as far as these statements go like grid priority or battery priority no connections have been given at the back so no use in finding them out now let's close the case and uh, test it with an actual solar panel and find out the results oh i just forgot that's your final display unit Now guys, if we go for the measurement of the battery voltage, pointing the meter towards DC voltage measurement mode. 
as you can see it is showing 6.34 volts it is deeply discharged so i will have to recover it also i'm going to try some load before the recovery process so guys here i'm going to test run this motor with this battery let's see if it can handle the load you see that it is not even starting it maybe the battery is so discharged because of which although it was showing 6 volts the voltage is still dropping so now i'm going to connect the meter and the motor terminals together to the battery at the same time and you see the voltage has dropped to 0.153 volts meaning no voltage left in the battery as soon as i connect the load so guys the battery is dead indeed so let's recover it now guys in my previous video you saw me unbox and review this solar panel so i'm going to use this very panel to recover my old car battery and there is a possibility that i might have to leave it for a day or two and here as you can see that it is drawing around 2 to 2.5 amperes so guys after an hour i'm going to check the current the battery is drawing from the solar panel and here as you can see that the current is as high as 6 amperes so the recovery is under process and uh, the indication is good almost 6 amperes uh, this battery is drawing Anyways, uh, I've connected the wires coming out from the solar panel to my MPBD charge controller. And how I have done that, you see PV minus and PV plus. To this, I have connected my solar panel wires. And then BAT minus and BAT plus, I have connected my battery wires. And that is charging my really old battery that I just recovered. Now guys, if we look closely at the display, you see I solar 4.2, V solar 15.7. I battery 5.4, V battery and 12.9. So obviously as you can see that the current has been boosted and uh, the current coming from the solar panel to the controller is less and the current from the controller and to the battery is higher. Now guys let's do the same measurement with uh, my clamp meter. So first I'm going to measure the current coming from the solar panel. Okay. Here as you can see it is drawing around 4.75 and fluctuating it has reached around 4.85 max. Now that's the battery wires. You see the wires going to the battery. Here as you can see 6 amperes. So it is feeding the battery at 6 amps and taking in only uh, like 4 point something amps. So it is actually boosting the power almost 6 amperes that is really good now guys obviously you cannot achieve this type of uh, output from a PWM type of controller only MPPT can do that because of the boosting coil and remember when connecting this MPPT controller always connect the battery first and then your solar panel now what will happen if you disconnect one of the battery terminals let's remove this one the controller has stopped and when you connect it back, it should start kicking in some time. Yeah, now it's on. So guys, uh, now what I'm going to do is disconnect one of the solar panel terminals. Yeah, I've disconnected one solar panel terminal. And now I can safely disconnect the battery terminal. Now that has also been disconnected. Now I think that I have been recovering the battery for such a long period so it should be recovered enough to run the car starter motor. Now it is uh, capable of consuming around 200 to 300 amperes. Now it should work. You see it is running but very slowly. Now I'm going to give you uh, the close-up of the starter motor running with the battery. I hope you should see it. You see it is running but really slow. Not at all enough to start a car engine.